trying to be great, and I'm on my way. Way up, way up, way up. It's never too late, and I'm on my way. I'm a leader. This is James Edwards, the most valuable motivator. If I can change, if I can turn my life around, if I can fall down and get back up, if I can bounce back, anybody can. This is Thursday Night Thunder. I want to live. I have to live. I got to live. And I will live. I want to live. I gotta live, I have to live, and I will live. Deborah, Nehemiah, around the month of May, in the year of 213, you slowly but secretly found yourself in the biggest fight for your life. You've made it through a lot of obstacles. You fought plenty of opponents, and yes, you endured weight after weight after weight of opposition. After what appeared to be a normal and annual ordinary mammogram, you received a report that carried the potential to declare war against your earthly life. Through your own personal examination, you felt a lump that led you to get checked out and which resulted into a mass in your blood tissue. Weeks of speculation and weeks of anticipation on developing a game plan on how you would counteract the attack that breast cancer has caused with an attempt to destroy you and lay you flat on your back. It was evident through the biopsy that some type of way cancer had entered your body and decided to make its dwelling there without your permission. With over 200,000 people being diagnosed each and every year, with one out of eight females being hit with this deadly and disastrous disease, Deborah, I want you to know that it's 2.8 million breast cancer survivors who will make a sound decision to continue to survive each and every year. Whether it's chemo, whether it's surgery, whether it's reconstruction or radiation, the will to live and the fight to survive is the ultimate treatment plan. We're thankful for the surgical, medical, and radiation oncologists. We're thankful for the doctors.